Hi everyone, welcome to part two of Learn to Paint Poppies. Uh, this section will cover the painting of the pods or the flower buds, the stems, and the leaves. So to begin painting the pods, what I used was a mixture of burnt sienna mixed with the all light olive green and I tended to add the shadow on the left side of the pods so that darker concentration of shadow color um, went on the left side. I also used that on the stems and um, sort of let that dry down a little bit and with a higher concentration on the stems the shadow color was used on the left so as if the light source was coming from the upper sort of uh, right hand sh side of the poppies and the um, flower pods. So after that dried down a little bit, um, I used more of just the light olive green. Um, it makes a really beautiful um, green shade for your plants that you're painting. Um, and again, that was used in the middle of the um, pod and sort of went over that mix of the burnt sienna with the olive green and I used that on the stems too more concentrated in the center of the stems in the right side of the stems you can go back in where a stem would be underneath or where it intersects and cross over or crosses under another stem you're going to add that mix of the burnt sienna with the olive green um, underneath, if it's underneath, um, you know, stem that you're painting, you would have that shade be underneath that color. And I do a little bit of a line of that shade color on the top where those um, stems overlap each other. So that gives the illusion that one stem is on top of another one or underneath another um, stem. Now you can see I'm adding a lot more highlight on the stems and the poppy pods and that it was a mix of the um, light olive green with a yellow oxide um, and it gives a, a little bit of a brighter green uh, shade and that got, you know, that was used on the upper um, right hand side and in the middle just to give the illusion of the roundness um, to the um, pods and the stems because they're not flat in nature. So that gives the optical illusion um, of roundness. And you can see just adding that brighter color. And again, keep in mind, you're gonna be painting in layers. So you're gonna paint a little bit, let it dry down. That's why I move around um, the gesso board or the canvas or the paper, whatever, whatever I'm painting on. And you just wanna kind of move around. So, um, you know, I might work on the, top pod and then move to the left pod like I'm doing here and then um, the bottom uh, flower pod. So that gives that a chance to sort of dry down. And the same thing with the stems. I just paint a little bit on each one and move around. And then I was using the little tiny liner brush with just the um, burnt sienna to really sort of deepen those shadows on the lower left side of the uh, flower pods and where the stems are underneath the flowers or would appear to be underneath. So that's a really deep shade and you wanna differentiate those areas with the, your darkest shade color. And I even went back in and sort of refined the edges of the poppy petals um, with that finer brush. So it might've been like a more intense uh, yellow shade. Um, instead of mixing it in with the orange this time, it was just a brighter intense uh, solid of the yellow. And um, I used even a little bit of the burnt sienna um, around some of the edges and where a petal was on top of another one. 
So for the leaves, um, I did use a little bit more um, brighter green mix, and that was to add in the hooker's green. And that's what I'm basing the, this, the bottom leaf with now is the hooker's green. And then start adding a little bit of a light olive green into that mix, and I used the burnt sienna to shade uh, the leaves themselves and sort of define them because there's like a poppy leaves are really um, on my poppy flowers that grow in my yard anyway the leaves are pretty small um, next to the um, high up on the stem next to the buds and next to the flowers so they're really sort of fine I actually went out and cut some leaves to use in this painting so that's what I was working from with the initial drawing for this um, the poppy leaves was, I, I drew them from life, which is very helpful if you have that um, ability to, to draw and paint from life. You, I think you get a more realistic look in your finished product, in your finished art. Now, going forward with my tutorials that I'm going to be posting on YouTube, I will be adding um, to my Etsy shop, actually, a, a downloadable PDF form um, workbook that shows step-by-step -step photos. Um, it lists the colors, um, the paint colors that were used in each painting, um, and it also has written step-by-step -step instructions. So I think this would be useful you know, for everyone to have to be able to use in conjunction with the um, YouTube videos. And I will post the link um, in the comments of, um, for the, um, the downloadable PDF workbook form. Um, I'll, I'll post the link to that down below in the description and you can go and print that off. I'm going to list them for sale on my Etsy shop for $12, which is really reasonable. So you'll be able to keep that and um, print out the directions and or, you know, keep them on your computer. And as you're painting, you can have the step-by-step -step written instructions and the step-by-step um, -step photos. So that will be a nice um, addition to watching the YouTube videos if you would like to paint realistically. I have the Poppy um, workbook finished that goes along with this video. Um, so I think it would be really great, you know, a nice, more well-rounded tutorial for y'all to um, learn how to paint realistic flowers. So the Poppy one will go up here soon um, on my Etsy site. Um, and you can use that again, like I said, in conjunction with the YouTube videos. So I hope you give the poppies uh, tutorial a try. They're really beautiful. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, please add that to um, the comment section. And I will help you um, with anything that you have a question or comment or problem with if you try this painting, um, which I do hope you do try. Um, please let me know what you think and thank you so much for watching and taking time out of your day. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much and we'll see you soon.